<laughs> I remember my first ever lab experience. It was an eight weeks on a placement and I was super excited but also worried that I would break something incredibly expensive like the lens of a confocal microscope which go for tens of thousands of pounds by the way. Thankfully by the end of the placement I felt more like a help than a hazard and no lenses were harmed in the process. Reflecting on this as a third year PhD student at Cambridge, it's amazing to see how much I've grown in confidence and competence as a scientist. My PhD project is all about figuring out how cells make decisions during early development and I use mouse embryonic stem cells as a primary model. So I'm actually part of two labs which has been such a cool experience. My primary lab focuses on transcriptional regulation and here I do a lot of molecular biology techniques and I spend a lot of time in tissue culture taking care of my cells, feeding them and just ensuring that they are in optimal conditions for the experiments I would do later on. These experiments include conducting western blots to measure protein abundance and running lots of qPCR plates to either analyze gene expression or look at the dynamics of protein DNA interactions over a time course. In my secondary lab, I am a developmental biologist studying the process of embryonic development by observing how cells differentiate and organize themselves in the 3D structure. I use bean shaped structures called gastroloids, which mimic the early stages of mouse embryo development, and I have also worked with zebrafish. I have to say it was pretty cool and seeing them glow under the microscope. Throughout my PhD, I have learned, developed and honed an array of technical skills. But actually, it's not about the technical stuff alone. It's the soft skills such as communication and teamwork and adaptability that are super important and have been impactful as I balance working across multiple labs. At Cambridge, the collaboration between departments is amazing. I have had the opportunity to interact with researchers from different areas, which has broadened my perspectives and makes my work even more interesting. And it really is incredible how much you can achieve when you're part of such a collaborative and supportive community. So, if you are just starting out in science, don't be scared by the challenges. Every step forward is a step closer to success. And if you're looking for hands-on experience, Cambridge has some great opportunities like STEM Smart and Inspiring Scientists at the Cambridge Institute for Medical Research. These programs can really help you grow and open up new possibilities. So embrace the journey, embrace the challenges and let your passion for science guide you forward.